Have you ever wondered how to store your board games? It's easy. Doesn't Vertical. matter. What? Doesn't matter because <laughs> if you follow these tips that we're going to talk about, then there's no mess in your board game boxes. Fair enough. Let's go check it out. Welcome back to the New Shelves. I'm Judy. And I'm Michael. And today we are going to talk about how to store your board games without making a mess. We all know that some games come with perfect inserts, like、um, viticulture and parks. Yes, yes, parks and Grim Forest. Grim Forest. Those、mm-hmm. have some great inserts.、Mm-hmm. But let's be honest, those games are very. Few and far between.、Mm-hmm. Some games come with <laughs> an insert.、Mm-hmm. Look nice, but yeah, not functional. Not functional,、mm-hmm. exactly. And some games come with not inserts, but just cardboard dividers that <laughs> do absolutely nothing. Drive me nuts! <laughs> no offense.、Yeah. So, if you have some of those types of dividers. First step, throw them out.、Mm-hmm. They're they are pointless. You don't need them. They're not going to help、yes. in any way. But here are some steps you can take to keep everything perfect in your board game box,、mm-hmm. so that you can store them horizontal, you can store them vertical, you、mm-hmm. can take them with you, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, sit tight. So make sure you stay for the last tip because that's by far the best tip. And if you like what we do here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified of more board gaming videos. So the first tip we have、mm-hmm. is now this might cost you a little bit of extra money, or you might have to invest some time into it. It's like a project,、mm-hmm. but those are custom built inserts. Now there are two ways you can do this.、Mm-hmm. One, you can buy a pre-made custom insert. Yes. And those are easy to find. You can just go to BGG's website. I'm sure everyone knows already.、Um, they have a whole list who you can、um, go check out their website、yeah. and see all the works that they have. And you can just order right off their company's website. And、yeah. they are beautiful.、And、they perfect. They're just perfect,、yes. right? They fit everything so nicely.、Mm-hmm. But the other way you can do it is you can actually build your own. Now, the most common way to do this、mm-hmm. is using foam core, and I've done some myself, but it takes time. It takes time, but it's fun to do. It is, and like I said, that's more of a project, and、mm-hmm. you can you can do that on your own. And they all work really well with holding your components and your cards and all that. That's really good.、Mm-hmm. They are great, but it does take some time.、Mm-hmm. Now there is a master list on BGG as well, and you can search by game. It has all of these user uploaded plans and measurements、mm-hmm. for exactly how to build these foam core inserts. Those are so convenient. You don't have to measure by yourself, and those are very accurate. The、yes. one that you use is yes. perfect. Yes, absolutely. Now the second tip is the containers. Yes. And there are Plano boxes、mm-hmm. and the dollar store ones. The Plano boxes—they're kind of like fishing tackle boxes,、mm-hmm. and you can find them easily, like hardware stores, craft stores. They are amazing. They have so many dividers and compartments. So convenient.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now the great thing about the Plano boxes、mm-hmm. is that again on BGG there's another master list、mm-hmm. of all the games and what model number of Plano boxes fit in each box and fit games better. Yes, use BGG as your bible. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, pretty much exactly. I also enjoy those、um, mini price store containers.、Mm-hmm. There are many kinds that you can just find the one that you like. Yeah, yeah. And you take care of your wallet. Yeah, they're they're, they're very economical. They're, the they're very cheap because it's mini price.、Uh, yes. I know in in America and Canada、uh, we call them dollar stores,、mm-hmm. um, but they're mini price. You have those stores all over in the UK、yes. and everywhere. But yeah, you just get、uh, we use those little. So there's little containers、mm-hmm. and、um, they have screw on lids. And what I love about them is、yeah. for some of our games, not only do they store the components in the box, but you can just take the lid off. And you can put it right on the board and use them as containers、yeah. while you're playing. And consider they are from mini price store.、Mm-hmm. They only store your games, so the quality is actually lasts a long time. Yeah. Oh, oh, for sure. Like、yes. there's no there's no issue with them wearing out or anything.、Like、yes.、That. Yeah, they're perfect. Yeah. So I mean, there's all sorts of kinds of、uh, different containers. You can、mm-hmm. get creative. These are just a couple of con- types of containers we use. Yes. But any containers like that are great for storing your components in your box. And the last one, 
as the easiest,、mm-hmm. the most efficient,、mm-hmm. the most economical.、Mm-hmm. It's baggies, baggies, baggies. It was so good. Baggies. I mean, I I think anybody who's into board gaming uses baggies.、Mm-hmm. But baggies are your friend. Yeah. I mean, bo- board game publishers actually put baggies into most board games now. Yeah. Because they're so easy. And it's not just the zip bags; it's also the drawstring bags. Yeah. With canvas material,、oh, so、fabric, good,、right? and all that. It is amazing.、Yeah. I love them. Oh, I love it so much. Now, usually the the canvas drawstring bags are used for components where you actually use that in the game、yeah. to either hide components and mix them up or,、mm-hmm. or whatever. But baggies. They are so good at storing your components、yeah. for a few different reasons.、Mm-hmm. So once you know how to set the game up and you've played it a few times,、mm-hmm. then you can actually start storing things in different baggies to make your setup faster and easier, right? And easier. For example, I always put、uh, all of the different player components、mm-hmm. in their own separate baggies.、Mm-hmm. So if my friends come over or we're playing and you want to be the red player, here, here's a baggie with all the red components ready to go.、Yeah. Right? Here are all the blue ones. Ready to go,、exactly. and then you have everything already organized、mm-hmm. in the baggies to make the setup easier.、Mm-hmm. So not only do these help you store your games,、yep. and nothing is getting mixed up inside,、mm-hmm. but it helps you set up the game too. And I think that's really important because you don't want to spend too much time set up. Absolutely, yeah, a hundred percent. And I truly believe that you take a little bit of extra time、mm-hmm. when you're putting the game back into the box by sorting things out properly.、Mm-hmm. Then it makes the setup so much easier. Efficiency. So much more efficient. <laughs> yeah. I even actually, when I put the deck of cards in games while I'm putting it away, yeah, I actually shuffle them now.、Mm-hmm. I have them pre-shuffled so that when we set it up, they're ready to go. Yes. So as you can see,、mm-hmm. I know there's this debate of how to store your games,、mm-hmm. vertical or horizontal,、mm-hmm. and we are here to tell you, it doesn't matter. As long as you store the components inside the box properly, it doesn't really matter how you store your game boxes.、Uh, absolutely, hundred、mm-hmm. percent. So that's our tips of how to store your board games. How do you store your board games? Do you have any other tips that we could learn from?、Mm-hmm. Leave comments below. So that's it for today. Until next time, go ahead and get another game off of your nerd shelves. Take care. Bye.